Hello and welcome to my channel. You'll see my gorgeous face in a few seconds, but right now you're seeing some names of some lovely people that support me on Patreon. If you wanted to check out my Patreon, uh, link is in the description. Check it out if you feel like it or not. Either way, thank you for even thinking about it and thank you to these guys for supporting me. Uh, enjoy the video. Yeah, I don't like it either, but sometimes I like to look like a woman. Okay, hi, it's me. <laughs> Basically, I just wanted to sit down and chat because I haven't been feeling 100% lately. Like, something feels wrong in my life, and I think I've come to the conclusion I'm not doing the right thing. Currently, I'm doing YouTube full-time, and don't get me wrong, I love it. YouTube is still very much a passion of mine, and I really enjoy it. But I don't enjoy it being a job. I really don't. And I know there's a ton of you out there who are probably saying, you fucking bitch, I would kill to have YouTube be a job. And I was that person, and I still would kind of kill for YouTube to be a job in... Mm. Basically, it is a job and it's both very easy and very hard at the same time. What I do, because it's a passion, it is easy for that reason, but at the same time, because it's a passion, I hold myself to such a high standard that I never think I can meet that standard. And I'm always scared of what I'm gonna create because I'm scared it's not gonna be the standard that I want it to be, and then because I don't like it, you guys won't like it. Which 90% of the time isn't true at all. I posted videos that I thought would absolutely bomb and they did really well and you guys really liked it and I got really positive responses. And then I posted videos I spent hours on and I was really proud of, not hours, days, and I was really proud of. And they don't do well at all. So I'm just kind of like, I gotta stop hanging all my hopes and all my expectations on the views a video will get. And that is far more easy to do when you're just doing YouTube as a hobby or as a side passion or something like that. But when YouTube is your livelihood, the views going down equals the money going down equals the food going down equals your life going down. So <laughs> YouTube becoming a job for me came at a really good time because I really needed a break from traditional work. I was doing a lot of retail. I'd had to quit certain dance jobs, which is my main career and passion is dancing, performing, acting, all of that. But because of my mental health, I actually had to take a break from that, step back, and actually literally quit certain jobs that I had because of my mental health. So I focused everything on YouTube because I was like, I've got no boss, I've got no managers telling me what to do, I can just get it done. And I put everything into YouTube and went, cool, let's make this a career. And it worked. Currently my income is split between the views I get on YouTube, live streaming on YouNow, my Patreon, and editing for other YouTubers. And that's not too hard when you just list those four things. It's like, oh, you're just doing four things to get income. But the problem is, all of those four things fluctuate. The amount of editing work I get fluctuates, the amount I earn from my YouTube videos fluctuates, my Patreons will come and go as their bank account allows. And that is terrifying. <laughs> because I don't know if one month I'm going to be absolutely comfortable, completely fine, and in the next month struggling beyond belief and that has happened so many times and sometimes that's my own fault because I need a break and I can't do as many live streams or post as many videos so I don't get as much money and that is not how I want to look at YouTube it's really not but unfortunately when it became my job that's how I had to so I've kind of come to the conclusion that maybe I don't want YouTube to be my job anymore don't get me wrong I'm not quitting YouTube it will always be something I'm passionate about and I can't see myself quitting for a very long time but I think I need to take the focus off YouTube so hopefully some of that passion will rekindle and the whole needing views not wanting them I want them yeah everyone wants them but I literally look at it and go I need this and that's not healthy so I don't really know where to go from here because I'm still very passionate about YouTube and I would love it to be my full-time job but I would love it to be a full-time job that would actually compensate me correctly for the amount of stress and effort I put into it. I'm not saying I'm the hardest working person and I'm not saying them I'm the most under <laughs> and I'm not saying I'm the most underappreciated person I'm just saying the amount of work versus the payoff is there is a big gap. So yesterday I started applying for other jobs. I've sent out some resumes for things like social media work and things like that and I'm just seeing what happens and if something comes up honestly I'm gonna grab it because I need to get out of the house. Not only is YouTube mentally exhausting but you work from home so I don't go anywhere because one I work from home Two, I relax at home, and three, if I wanted to relax anywhere else, I can't afford it, because as I said, I'm not really making that much money. So literally about 97% of my time, I don't know why 97, that's just the number that came to my mind, so we're gonna go with it, it's right, it's so correct, I've done studies, but 97% of my time is pretty much spent in this exact room. Because I wake up, I do a bit of editing, I do a bit of cleaning, I film something, I do more editing, I do some social media stuff, then I go meet my boyfriend at his work, we walk back here, and then we sit at the desk playing video games, and I go to sleep and I repeat it the next day. So the only time I leave the house 
is like the 20 minutes I'm out of the house to meet my boyfriend after work. And I don't think that's healthy. <laughs> like I could sit here and make jokes and be like, ha, I'm such a shut in, ha, <laughs> relatable, <laughs> XD raw. But no, I, it's not cute. It's really not. I don't like being stuck inside. It's affecting me mentally. It's affecting me mentally, <laughs> clearly. <laughs> so while working at home was amazing to begin with and seems like it would be really amazing to anyone not working from home, it, it's not as good as you might think. I liked it for the time I got to experience it, but I think I'm, I'm honestly done for a bit. I need like an office space to go to or something where there's other employees for me to interact with. Cause that's another thing. I do all of my work by myself. I don't really talk to anyone for the majority of my day. I'm pretty lonely. <laughs> and recently I even spoke to a friend who has always worked traditional jobs where they go into an office or they go into a store to do retail or whatever. And they actually came across their first working from home job this past year. And I was talking to her the other day and she said, I hate it. I fucking hate it. I feel like I can't escape my work. It's just always there because this is my workspace. So switching off and relaxing just doesn't really happen anymore. And I agreed 100%. That is what I've been feeling for the past year and a half or however long I've been doing this full time. I've been feeling that constantly, but that feeling has been increasing more and more because I've been putting in the same amount of work, but not really going anywhere. So I feel like I'm just, I'm just pretty stuck. I've plateaued and I know I take a lot of breaks and that's probably my fault, but that's due to mental health. That's due to what I need to do. And maybe I'm just not suited to doing YouTube full time at the moment because what's expected is something that my brain won't really allow, if that makes any sense. Right now with YouTube, I go through waves. I go through fluctuations of being really passionate and not wanting to touch YouTube at all. And it's an all or nothing situation, which shouldn't be how it is. I should find a balance of just doing it when it's right or when I enjoy it, not doing it all the time and hating it and then stopping and then missing it and then coming back and loving it for like three days and then hating it because I've gone too hard again. I think it just needs to be balanced with something else so it's not the only thing I'm doing all the time. <laughs> so yeah, I am potentially moving on to something else but I won't be stopping YouTube. My goal will always be to post two videos a week. It always has been. I never meet that goal. <laughs> but it's there. If I get another job, yes, the majority of my time will be taken up by that job, but that should mean that I actually want to create in my free time, that I actually feel inspired to make things and it's not gonna become something I have to do, but something I want to. And I, th I think I'm just talking in circles, to be honest. Also, I am still very passionate about performing. I don't wanna give that up and that has a time limit. There is a certain age a dancer will reach where they either don't look youthful enough or their body is just destroyed because of all the years of dance and they can't do that career anymore. And that age can be anything from 30 to 35, if you're lucky, maybe a few more years than that. I'm 25. I've got 10 years left to participate in a career I've spent my entire life training for. So I really wanna pursue that and I, I'm gonna. I have a contact in London who I'm gonna meet with soon and he's gonna hook me up with his agent and then hopefully I can get some West End auditions and then maybe that could be my work. And then being around that creative environment for my job will keep me really passionate. And then when I'm in my spare time, Hopefully I still want to be passionate about YouTube. I don't, I don't fucking know. I just really need a change guys. Cause I am stuck inside physically. I am stuck inside mentally. And I just haven't progressed in a while. I know I moved to another country. That was a very big thing, but I moved to another country and haven't done anything since I got here. <laughs> Literally, I attended VidCon with my boyfriend. That was amazing. But that is all we've done and I've been here for about three plus months. Uh, and a lot of that comes down to us just not having the money to do what we want. Um, so I need to step up and earn some more, I guess. And on top of that, because I'm so constantly drained by YouTube and I feel like whenever I'm at home and my boyfriend's not, I have to be working, I don't get anything else done for myself. Like I don't do any of the exercises I need to do. I'm meant to be stretching daily so that I don't forget how to do the splits. So my body doesn't forget how to do the splits. It's not exactly complicated. And I have put on weight since starting YouTube as a full-time job because I sit constantly. My jobs always used to be very active. If I wasn't doing a dance job, I was doing retail where I'd walk around a lot and I'm an active person. So even if I didn't need to walk, I'd be walking or moving or fidgeting. So I go from being one of the most active people I know to sitting at a desk all day that's gonna make me fat. <laughs> and I don't like that, I don't feel good. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with being fat or big or whatever you wanna call it. If you're happy with yourself, you're happy with yourself and I'm not. I don't feel happy with myself. I get exhausted on walks that I wouldn't in the past. I can't really run for a long distance and it's just really depressing to see all that training I'd spent go down the drain just because I'm sitting for my job. And I know if I got an office job, I'd still be sitting for my job, but I would get up walk to the train station, walk from the train to the job. I know that's not much exercise, but it's about 10 times the amount of exercise I'm currently doing. <laughs> and then hopefully when I get home, because I won't feel like I'm still at work when I'm at home, I'll actually maybe do some push-ups, do a sit-up, 
do a thing, do something to take care of myself. I don't know. I really have no fucking clue. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what's coming in the future. I don't know what's gonna happen with YouTube. It's not gonna die for me. I definitely wanna keep it going, but I don't know how it's gonna keep going, when it's gonna keep going, how much it's gonna keep going. You know all of that? I don't know. I'm just a bit lost. And I think that's okay. I think that's actually a lot more normal than I think it is, but I beat myself up for it a lot because ever since I was six years old, I've known what I've wanted to do. I've wanted to be a dancer my entire life and I've pursued that. And then YouTube was this sudden passion that popped up and I went, oh, let's do that too. But it turns out you can't have everything. And I forgot where I was going with this. I, I seriously can't remember what I was gonna say. Oh yeah, I've been so sure about what I wanna do my entire life that I'm not used to not knowing what I want or what I need. And having to figure that out is really foreign to me. So I am definitely lost and I don't know what's coming. I don't know where I'm going, but I just wanted to let you guys know that hopefully some changes are coming. Hopefully they won't be affecting you in any negative way. And hopefully it's gonna make it a bit more of a positive experience for everyone, especially me because I would like that. <laughs> if you're still here, if you've survived through this big bitch fest, I just wanna let you know, I do wanna bring back streams for the moment anyway, for as long as I can, cause I do love those. Yes, they are a big part of my income and that is one of the reasons I do it, but I love streaming. Like that live interaction, it, oh, it just gives me the feels I require. It sustains me. And those streams are gonna be at 9 p.m. UK time, which is in the afternoon in America, and I think the morning in Australia. It's the only time that my top three demographic countries are actually gonna be awake at the same time. So I know it's not ideal for everyone, but at least you might be awake while it's happening. You know, we'll see. But if you are interested in checking out my streams, I do them here on YouTube, but I also do them on YouNow because YouNow actually pays me for streaming and it is fantastic and thank you, YouNow. So link is in the description because more streams go on that. So exclusive ones, longer ones, all of that. So check it out in the description. Thank you, okay. But uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much all I have to say. I just wanted to let you guys know what's happening. So if something changes on YouTube or if something changes on my Patreon, oh, by the way, with my Patreon, thank you very much for everyone supporting me on Patreon. Patreon, you are a patron on Patreon. Anyway, thank you, I appreciate it. If I do get another job though and YouTube stops being my full-time job, my Patreon is gonna change drastically. There's only gonna be like one or two tiers and it's just gonna be really cheap, simple rewards to keep you guys involved and you know, help me earn a bit on the side and fund my YouTube. Basically, that's more what it's gonna be about is not so much I need the Patreon money to eat and more, hey, this Patreon money is a nice little bonus to upgrade my camera, buy some props or whatever I need to do. So yeah, I think that is actually it. I never really know at the end of videos where I don't have a topic to talk about. I never really know what's come out of my mouth because I just verbally diarrhea and then immediately forget what I've said. I do it with my friends all the time. Actually, I'll say a complete sentence and then they'll react to the sentence. I'll be like, what are you talking about? And they're like, you just said this thing. And I'm like, oh, my bad. <laughs> so I'm not sure how much sense this video made. I'm not really sure if you gave a shit about any of this video, but I felt like I really needed to make it. So thank you if you did make it this far through the video. I really appreciate it. If you have any suggestions for me just with life, or anything you'd like to see on the channel, or just just want to say hi. That'd be cute, that'd be nice. As I said, I work by myself. So you're the closest thing I have to a co-worker. So if you want to leave the, the comments in the comments section about the thing, do it. I mean, all of this could be wrong. I might not get any job offers and YouTube could blow up and then I do YouTube full time for the rest of my life. And I'd be happy with that, I think. We'll find out. But that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next one, but until then, fuck off.